I just found out that my girlfriend of four long years has been cheating on me for a month behind my back. And I'm totally lost right now. You know, there's some people out there, they tend to like to trust their partner that they're not going to be doing anything behind their back. But me personally, I always like to have a lot of transparency as much as possible. So I know I'm not wasting my time and even my years with the wrong person. So like I said, you always got to make sure you have full transparency. You got to share in each other's location. It's great communication because you're going to end up like this guy wasting four long years of your life that you can't get back. Being a part of something other than yourself and then waking up the next day and just being in total solidarity. I don't know how I'm going to move on from this. I'd rather meet a guy when he is financially stable so I know that I'm his dream girl and then just saying, you know what, money's not everything, money's not everything. Money is everything. But when you can take feelings to the positive at the bank, then money's not everything. So then, money matters a lot. It's about to be 2023. Can we stop with the there's no good men out here? Because let's keep it 100. There's plenty of fucking good men out here. But a lot of you bitches will sit there and friend zone these good men because they don't got big bank accounts. They don't got the hottest car. They don't have the nicest house. But guess what, baby? You know what comes along with the cute boy with the big bank account and the nice car? 29 different other bitches trying to fuck him. I will go get whatever you say. You said shampoo and everything. This is not your, you're not welcome in here. We stole it out of our house. We don't want you in our house, baby. Give me five minutes. I'm asking her if she will please leave. She will not leave. I will go get whatever she wants in here. She says shampoo and soap. And I'm trying to ask her to leave. She wants to, can I please go in here and grab your stuff? Will you please stay out of my house? I will grab whatever you need in there. Get me off camera. No, you're being on camera. This no, no. Me off camera. No, this is this is for this is for my protection. Really? Yes. Yeah. Protection. Yes, yeah, because if you try to do and say anything I've done to you, anything I, I got, I got proof right here. Yeah, I, pull that I do. I want to protect myself from you. I don't trust you. you don't trust me? No, I know you. That you are so quick to tell me. You be raping women, and you saying this about women, you saying that to women. But we don't say jack shit about how women talk to men. We don't. We don't say a damn thing about how women talk to men. It's just a free for all. I like being ran. Yes, I like being banged. I like being manhandled by several different men at once. If you want to call it being ran, you call it if you want. I'm sexually liberated. <laughs> And I'm a goddess, and I deserve to have hands all over my body. <laughs> I deserve to be worshipped. Like, why not? I deserve that attention. Shout out to her for letting the man them know, bruv, what it is. All I know is if you're going to go there, bruv, you better strap up, bruv. You get me? You better bring 50 dons, bruv. Put on a hazmat suit. Put on another human being's outfit, bruv. Become a tether, bruv, and, and beat that. No nocturne. You've got to be careful with gal like that, bruv, because if you don't wear a ting, it could all go wrong, and next thing you know, you're forever surviving on tablets and using ointments and creams, bruv. You've got mysterious sores over your body, bruv. Next thing you know, you've got a random cold. Start coughing and getting nosebleeds, bruv. This is a man. Why? It's like you're jealous. Wait a minute, I'm not jealous. You mad because I drove in the high road in Atlanta? No, but you know I know, boy. How you know him? That's the homie. Goofy. Goofy. Like I said, that's not his car. What you mean it's not real? Why? What you mean? So like you it's mean, fake. You set me up? No, you set yourself up. Maybe you played yourself, shawty. How? He played you. I didn't play myself enough oh. because I didn't do nothing. How? Oh. So what's going to happen? To what's going to happen? What's going to happen when the camera shut off? He hop in that bitch, drop it off, go home, and I go home, and your ass still standing at a little old stop box. <laughs> huh? Look around huh? 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 Go find some more. Huh? Go find some more. Oh.
man. He just asked me, he's like, oh, if Lil Baby wanted you and you was with me, would you cheat on me? Duh. It's Lil Baby. What do you think you got that Lil Baby done? I would be a fool to not cheat on you with Lil Baby. Like, are you dumb? It's Lil Baby. I, do you, are we talking about the same person? Like, why is that even a question? It's only a handful of people. All right. She just went on a whole rant explaining to us how she's a whore and a chooser. Now I'm just on how she's disloyal. <laughs> yeah, y'all, these, these modern day hoes just never cease to amaze me, man. Then, 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 the other little hoes in the comments naming the other artists or the other famous people that they'll do that same thing with. <laughs> Boy! To the mothers that had the luxury of having the child's father around. To the mothers that had the luxury of being able to get a day or two to yourself. To the mothers that had more than just three or four people at the village. Please appreciate that. Because the mothers that don't, I'm tired. Like, I just had the stomach virus for like a couple hours. Literally. I'm feeling much more better now, but physically I'm tired. I ain't gonna lie, like, I really don't like that. I still have Another thing, go ahead and get you a mediocre girl. <laughs> y'all want y'all some nines and tens, go ahead and get you a seven or five that girl is going to live for you she's gonna do everything you need cook clean whatever she's gonna spoil you rob your back when you need to these bad girls ain't it bro but these mediocre these ugly girls but go ahead and get you one of them they're gonna do you right these are the girls we should be having trying to go for these bad bad big booty bbls man they ain't doing nothing they ain't, they ain't comparing to these these five or sevens, five, six, sevens, seven point fives. <laughs> Facts are cap. Facts are cap. <laughs> Facts are cap. Hey, John, you know about being a video? No, you know about being a video? No. 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 They won't yeah. find him in Mexico. They, 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 they won't find him in Mexico. Usually these women will pick the same type of guys because they show them some type of consistency. Constantly calling them, checking up on them. And usually these women already know, hey, this guy, I know he's bad for me, but He's the only, really only one giving me his time, so yeah, I'm gonna give him a try. Something is killing me slowly, and I'm feeling so lonely. Now I'm looking at the bottom. Men are like, if I'm paying all the bills, then you should at least be cooking and cleaning the house. I should come home to a meal. Motherfucker, if I wasn't here, you would still be paying the bills. <laughs> the things that you do that you consider is for our marriage, you would be doing if you were single. Okay? When you get benefits from your job, I don't really get those benefits. You do. If I left right here, you would still get those benefits. I wouldn't. Your check don't come to me. So therefore, I don't give a damn about how much you work. Because you was working before and you're going to be working after you met me. I don't care how much you work. A hard working man is nothing for me. Because you're going to work hard with or without me. What are you doing for me? Nothing. That's why I don't do nothing for y'all. But I don't care what these females are talking about. I got my passport. I'm going to Colombia, DR, Puerto Rico, Colombia. I'm going to all them places. If you don't want me to go, you come sleep with me then. How about that? If you mad at black men going overseas to be a woman, how about you come sleep with us so we stop going over there? You can't do that, can you? Exactly. That's the reason why we going over there and having sex with these women and giving them money and taking care of their ass. Because at the end of the day, they giving us what we want. Y'all females don't. So don't get mad at me. Either you giving it up or shut up. <laughs>